as you can so you can see that the splash screen is going to be loading for and we are going to directly move to the add to the tool list or also known as the seller screen immediately so as you can see right now there are no items available since that we have no items that are currently available for right time since for example on um, this case because it is because when we use the php file which is in the load seller items there are no items available in the database so it will state that there are no items that are available so we are going to press the so now we are going to press the floating action button which will add the item so as you can see right now the location is searching so which indicates that we need to activate the location uh, for this application to use and as you can see right now there are three slides there are three images that are presented on on the search on the registry item registration form so this is the first image second image and followed by the third image so we are going to, for example we are going to upload at a at a screwdriver set item so we are going to upload the image from for example there are three images regarding these uh, screwdrivers so we are going to take this as the first picture and you can see that it was currently cropped to to the square grid so we already done with the first first image followed by the second image we will choose another image which is the which is this picture followed by the third picture we will going to upload it also but with a different angle and location so as you can see right now, three images are being uploaded onto the registration form. So we are going to proceed with the item name. The item name, item description, item price, for example, and the item quantity, followed by the current state and the current address. Since we are already initialized the location in this virtual machine, so when the location is being activated and being retrieved, it will state the current state and also the address. We are going to include the details of the address since it will show an error that the address must be complete in order to proceed. So we are going to proceed with the delivery fees and we need to tick the declaration form whether I have to declare that my item stated is a lawful item and also in good condition. So we were going to proceed with the add item. But before that, an alert, alert dialog will show that we need to add this item to the list or we will to confirm whether yes or no. So if we click no, it will proceed to the registration form where we can still alter the details and also upload the images if we want. So if we add the item and click yes, it will directly redirect to the seller screen where the screwdriver set will be provided in this in this i uh seller screen so for the so as you can see right now the first image was already displayed on the on the uh item set where the details which are the screwdriver 
the tool price and also the date of registration will be displayed. So we will scroll down to refresh the application, the screen. So, so yeah, we are. It is indicating that there is only one tool that we are currently registered found. So when we press the icon, we have to re We are going to update the item details since we accidentally done some typo. So for example, I put the screwdriver set. So after we already uh, edit the details, so we are going to update the item details uh, followed by, yeah, the, yeah, the toast already showed that the item has been updated successfully and the details has been shown on the system. So if we long press on the, on the item, it will show a alert dialog whether we need to delete the screwdriver set or not. And we will be warned whether we are sure about that since this cannot be undone. So that's all from me. Thank you.